Hi everybody, this is Jerry Silverman, here to train you on how to be a dealer in Roleplay Poker for Sales Conference 2018. There are three Roleplay Poker games happening during the conference. There are no games happening on the first day. The first game is during Document Cloud Breakout on Day 2, Monday, December 18th, after lunch. The second and third games are on Day 3, Tuesday, December 19th, also after lunch, for the Adobe Sign and Creative Cloud breakouts. We're going to review who, when, and what will be needed to help administer these games. For Day 2 Document Cloud Breakout, dealers should plan to arrive at Juniper 1 and 2 by the midway break at 4.30 p.m. to collect their materials and get ready. The game starts at 5.40 p.m. after the second presentation. Here is a list of the dealers for each table. Please find your name and be in touch with your breakout lead, Lisa Croft, if you're unable to assist. For Day 3 Adobe Sign Breakout, dealers should plan to arrive at Starvine 2 by 1 p.m. to collect their materials and get ready. The game starts shortly after the intro presentation. Again, here are the dealers for each table. Please find your name and be in touch with your breakout lead, Beth Borg, if you are unable to assist. Finally, for Day 3 Creative Cloud Breakout, dealers should plan to arrive at Juniper 1 and 2 by the midway break at 2.30 p.m. to collect their materials and get ready. The game starts at 3.30 p.m. after the hands-on activities. Here is the list of the dealers for each table. Again, be in touch with your breakout lead, Jerry Silverman, if you are unable to assist. Now that you know when the games are happening, and whom will be playing, let's talk about the gameplay itself. Roleplay Poker is played on 25 numbered tables. Each table has one dealer and nine players. The pickup and exchange table is where dealers gather their gaming materials and report their table's winnings, and where players exchange their game chips for prizes. Upon arriving into the breakout room, dealers should go to the pickup and exchange table to receive their numbered gift bag, which contains a dealer visor, red, yellow, green, and black chips, red, yellow, and green cards, a list of questions for the table, and a cheat sheet of the game rules. When you arrive at your table, you'll need to distribute the following to each player. Nine red chips and three cards, one green, one yellow, and one red. If players at your table are unsure where they should be sitting, they should consult their badges, which have their table numbers listed. After you've distributed nine red chips to each player and distributed three cards to each player, the game can start. Each player anties one red chip into the center of the table. Then, from your question sheet, you'll ask a question to the first player sitting to your right-hand side so that the entire table can hear. The player will have the opportunity to answer your question so that everyone can hear. When he or she is finished answering, the other players at the table will vote on the quality of that answer with their colored cards. A green card means that they won the business, a yellow card means that there is an objection to the answer, and a red card means that they lost the business. As the dealer, you will count how many green, yellow, and red cards have been presented by the table. If there are more green cards than any other type, the player gets the pot of chips in the middle of the table and you start the next round of questions. If there are more yellow cards displayed, you will choose one of the players at the table who objected and ask to hear their objection. The player must offer an answer to that objection, and the table re-votes again, win or lose. There can only be one objection per turn. If there is a majority of red cards, the pot stays in the middle of the table and the turn is over. If during the first round there are an equal number of green, yellow, and red cards voted by the players, choose Objection. If during the second round there are an equal number of green and red cards voted, the player wins the round. Once the round is over, all of the players ante up again, and the dealer asks the second question from the question list to the next player. After nine rounds of questions and answers, there may be some players with more chips and some with less. Players should count their chips and tell you how many they have. Players with 0 to 8 chips receive no prize. Players with 9 to 17 chips should get a yellow chip from you. Players with 18 or more chips should get a green chip from you. The player who provided the most thorough or convincing answers, in your opinion, should get the dealer's choice chip, which is black. After giving out the prize chips, please record the names and winnings of each recipient on the back page of the question sheet and take that page to the exchange table. Once you've done that, the players at your table should take their prize chips to the pickup and exchange table to collect their winnings. They can win up to $200 based on their prize chips. We will be sending out the question sheets and rules sheet this week via email, so keep your eyes peeled. Here is a link to watch a recording of this training 
and here is a link to download these slides. Here are the names, faces, and contacts of the breakout leads and game admins for all sessions. Make sure to contact them ASAP if you are unable to assist as a dealer in the breakouts you've been assigned to. We really appreciate your attention, assistance, and enthusiasm in making these sessions a success at Sales Kickoff 2018, and we look forward to seeing you in Vegas.